kick off. Rivalry, and this should be a thrilling match. This is a match no one wants to miss. So let's join our commentators, Andy Gray and John Motson. Yes, Desmond, there's very little room in the stadium today. Everybody eagerly awaiting the match this afternoon, and with me uh, in the commentary box, as usual, Andy Gray. Good afternoon, John. Well, the fans seem almost as excited about this match as I am. We always like to see it. Hello and welcome. You join us just in time for this match between Barcelona and Real Madrid. London the setting for today's game, and I hope you're looking forward to this as much as we are. So, time now to go live into the stadium to join John Motson. Hello, we're here for the live match between Real Madrid and Barcelona. Kick-off imminent here, so over to John and Mark for the start. And not a spare seat in the stadium here as you join us. Both teams with loyal supporters and more than a few neutrals here to see some good football. Any thoughts, Mark? I'm glad I didn't have to buy my own ticket, John. Hello, pleased you could be with us for this friendly match between Barcelona and Real Madrid. Here's John Motson now to talk you through the match and with him, Mark Lawrenson. Yes, thank you, Gary. I'm ready when the referee blows his whistle. It's almost ready to get started here in this exhibition match between Barcelona and Real Madrid. And waiting along with me for the kickoff, Mark Lawrenson. I'm just putting on a sunscreen, John. You can never be too careful in this weather. Our live game. Hello, I'm John Watson. I tell you, in my experience, friendlies can often be exciting games, so let's sit back and enjoy this one between Real Madrid and Barcelona. Looking at his notes and getting ready next to me is Andy Gray. Thanks, John. Well, it's... Welcome to the home of Real Madrid. John Watson here in the Bernabeu Stadium. Enlighten us about these teams, Ali. Thanks, John. How did they line up then? Well, it's the classic Spanish matchup. It's always great when two big football cities match wits in the field. It's even better when they're of the caliber of these two teams. Bragging rights are on the line here today. We're off and away here, Ali. The fans are in good voice, so am I. So let me welcome you to today's game. Well, we've been blessed with the presence of Ali McCoyce today. Well, it's lovely weather this evening. Perfect for a stroll, but you can forget that. We're here for the football. Well, we move away from the competition side of football this week. This is a friendly match between two well-supported clubs. And I guess, Ali, you'd have to say that from what we know about them, they're pretty evenly matched. I don't think there's any doubt about that, John. Both sides have played against each other, and obviously, in, in, in hardened competition, if you like. And both sides have been evenly matched. I don't see today's friendly being anything eh, other than very much of the same. Both sides have, have, have got previous against each other. But the well, I remember what the last game we watched, actually there was one or two yellow and red cards. This being a friendly, I don't see that being the case this time. No, neither do I. I suppose they can relax a bit and show off their skills and maybe one or two tricks here which the crowd will be able to enjoy. And uh, we look forward really to 90 minutes of entertainment here. when the uh, fixture lists are published. This clash of local rivals means more to the supporters than any other match. And the thing about derby matches, and players off in this day and age don't realise that, it means so much to the fans. The fans take this to work with them. They go to work with their chest puffed out if they've won. They don't go to work next week if they've lost. That's how important that is to the fans. The players realise that. We should have something special today. Size. I bet they can't wait to get at each other. 
Which way do you think this one will go, Andy? Well, it's a tough one to call, Clyde, before it starts. There's not a lot between them, equally matched skill-wise, ability-wise. I don't know, it's going to be tough. Again, everybody, we're at the match between Barcelona and Real Madrid, which uh, really is more than just a football match. It's uh, a lesson in history in Spain as well. Well, it's Catalonia against the mainland almost, isn't it? That's what you're talking about. And there's nothing these two like better than outshining, outplaying, and having all the class on show. Big game here for you. We are at the New Camp in Barcelona. We're not alone, Andy Gray and I. A capacity crowd of nearly 100,000 people. I've heard this fixture described as an exhibition match. There are no league points at stake, but there isn't a single player out there who doesn't want to win. Martin Tyler with Andy Gray, and it's a real pleasure to be sitting here on the gantry waiting for Barcelona and Real Madrid to set out against each other. Well, they love playing against each other. One thing I like about this derby, Martin, is normally you talk about tackles and people thumping at each other. This game, they tend to try and outplay each other. That's where they, they win the points. Welcome everybody to the Bernabeu Stadium, the venue for tonight's game. Martin Tyler here, along with Andy Gray. I oh, could just love it. Probably the most famous name in football and one of the most famous stadiums. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler, and this is the Bernabeu Stadium. Well, it is this mouth-watering fixture. Barcelona against Real Madrid. Alan, you don't need to say much more than that, really. No, the names say it all, Martin. Two of Europe's heavyweights coming face to face. Can't wait for this one. Join us once again. I'm Clive Tilsley. Andy Townsend is my co-commentator. Clive, always a pleasure to be here on what promises to be a great occasion. A few bigger club games than El Clasico, Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Well, I think in terms of footballing superpowers, Clive, there are a few bigger than these two teams. It's always a massive event, as we saw last season. They played each other what, five times, and every game was much talked about, much anticipated. This one will be no different. Opinions divided on this one, too close to court. Very difficult part to separate these two teams because they both have good reasons to win it.
Real Madrid. Without further ado, let's head off to Barcelona. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. It's Alan Smith along with me, Martin Tyler, welcoming you to this uh, big game today. Should be a marvellous match, Alan. It's time for El Clasico. When Barcelona play Real Madrid, it's a bit more than just a club match. Well, a little bit of rivalry, you might say, and so many world-class players out on the pitch here. And what excitement at Barcelona with Neymar coming in, Alan. Of course, he's got to get in the team first, I suppose. Well, he has. He's, uh, he's an emerging talent, one of the most exciting talents in the world, and uh, what I've seen of him in Brazil colours, he's got the ability and the confidence to uh, do himself justice at the new Camp. Valente Larazabal, ready to get the game underway. Hello and welcome to La Liga. They don't come any bigger than this in world football. It's El Clasico. It's Barcelona versus Real Madrid. A really chilly day and snow falling at the ground. So without further ado, we're heading for the new Camp. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to our game today. The weather has been a bit of a problem. The snow is falling. We got here just about, and the teams have got here, and the referees got here, and he said, Alan, play. That's right, and the crowd have got here, which is important as well, and everybody looking forward to a good match. As long as the ball doesn't start picking up snow, that's when you've got a problem, but no sign of that in the warm-up. Well, we don't need to build this one up too much, Alan, do it? Speaks for itself, Barcelona and Real Madrid. Yeah, one of the clashes in world football, isn't it? So many stars on both sides, can't wait for this one. Barcelona's line-up here, Cario Bravo starts in goal. Dani Alves starts with Jordi Alba as the fullbacks. Ivan Rakitic plays with Iniesta in the middle. Luis Suarez is the lone striker today. The lineup for the away side. time for Barcelona now, won't it? Messi signed a new long-term contract, new manager, to see whether they can recreate what they've done before, whether they'll have to go a different route to try and get there. Well, maybe so. Different managers have different methods, and uh, you've obviously got the likes of Xavi and Iniesta coming towards the end of their influence at the football club, Carlos Puel as well retiring, so it's going to be a new era for the club. It is time for the match. Martin Tyler here to describe it for you with my good friend Alan Smith. Yeah, hi there, Martin. Walking into the ground today, I've just got that feeling. Feeling it's going to be a really good afternoon. Well, we don't need to build this one up too much, Alan. Do it speaks for itself, Barcelona and Real Madrid. Yeah, one of the clashes in world football, isn't it? So many stars on both sides. Can't wait for this one. As for Lionel Messi, his form just goes from strength to strength. His statistics are incredible. Well, we talk so much about his ability on the ball, but I love the fact as well, Martin, you can't bully him. You can kick him, but he keeps on getting back up again for more. Cristiano Ronaldo, strong and still going strong. Well, how do you keep this man down? Because uh, he can do most things with a football and fantastic in the air. Really strong, as you say, Martin. What a talent become a symbol of the success of Barcelona not just a stylish team but a very stylish setting as well and you know, what a decade they had between uh, 06 and 15 four Champions League wins in that period nobody else won it more than once well that's the thing isn't it you can have a stadium but not everybody has the players the teams to grace that arena but Barcelona certainly have over the years and the number of spectacular matches we've seen inside this ground unforgettable well, There's no doubt that the three up front for Barcelona Messi Suarez and Neymar as good as anything I can ever imagine seeing in the successful season 2014-15. I mean you don't see many 
three pronged attacks anyway. But La Liga is the competition that we're featuring in our match today. I'm Martin Tyler. Hello to you all. Alan Smith is with me. Well, we don't need to build this one up too much, Alan, do it? Speaks for itself, Barcelona and Real Madrid. Yeah, one of the clashes in world football, isn't it? So many stars on both sides. Can't wait for this one. Alan, I was here for the 82 World Cup final. You were still probably a schoolboy then, watching it on the television, but it was a, a special setting for, obviously, the fixture in world football. Yeah, it's one of those places. Is there a finer sight than the Bernabeu packed to the rafters and with those Galacticos, the white shirts, gracing the surface, knocking in the goals. It was a fantastic race for the La Liga title, wasn't it, in 15-16. Barcelona and the two Madrid clubs in Barcelona just picked them at the last. Yeah, it was a mesmerising title pass, that one, with uh, the likes of Suarez, Messi, Neymar. They made the difference in the end. with me I'm Martin Tyler delighted to have your company for this match today well we don't need to build this one up too much Alan do it speaks for itself Barcelona and Real Madrid yeah one of the clashes in world football isn't it so many stars on both sides can't wait for this one one thing to look out for from this team today is the way they try and win the ball back within seconds of losing it. Yeah, and they don't do it individually. They get backed up by a teammate. They hunt in packs, and you've got to do that. You've got to do it with discipline. Barcelona's line-up here. Marc-Andre Testegen starts in goal. Samuel Umtiti plays with Jared Piquet in central defence. Ivan Rakitic plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. In attack, Lionel Messi partners up front with Luis Suarez. Well, Alan, you and I have been very lucky to work in this football cathedral, the stadium that is the Santiago Bernabeu. Special place, Martin, isn't it? Every time you stand down on the touchline, look up at those steep stands, it's a wonderful sight. If Real Madrid come calling to any top player in any other club in any other country in the world, the answer is usually yes, please, isn't it? Difficult, almost impossible to turn them down, to pull on that white kit. What an honour. And the referee for this important fixture today, Alvaro Arias Romero. Welcome to you. We are here in Barcelona for the visit of Real Madrid. We being myself, Martin Tyler, Alan Smith, of course, alongside me. We can't wait. No, we can't wait, Martin. You always look for this one in the fixture list and you just hope you're lucky enough to be here. We are in this magnificent stadium. Can't wait. Well, the special talent on view today, we've got Lionel Messi against Isco. Well, Lionel Messi, he is a top-class finisher. He gets himself in the box, and it's not often that he loses his head. 
That's Fusco. He's got wonderful ability on the ball. He could beat a man in a blink of an eye. Barcelona's line up here. Mark Andre Testegan starts in goal. Samuel Umtiti plays with Jared Piquet in central defense. Arturo Vidal starts with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. Luis Suarez is the lone striker today. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Keylor Navas in goal. Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane in central defence. Luka Modric starts with Tony Kroos in the centre of the park. Karim Benzema is the lone striker today. It truly is a special place, a stadium every football fan should visit should he or she get the chance. The Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. My name's Derek Ray and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. An action coming up from the Spanish top division La Liga. It's Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Well, I'm excited about this one. Great atmosphere in here. Everybody looking forward to this game, especially me and you. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois, the Belgian, will be in goal. Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane at the back. Luka Modric plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of the park. And leading the line today is Karim Benzema. And the Barcelona ship. Artur plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And Luis Suarez will be the main striker here. Well, this wonderful city offers the visitors so much, including football, Barcelona, of course. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Barcelona taking on Real Madrid. Yeah, thanks, Derek. I'm just hoping we get a nice, quick tempo from the start of this game. Both teams do like to get forward, both positive in their approach in the game. So we should be in for some entertainment. Barcelona. Marc Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Pique starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. And up front, Lionel Messi is the main striker. the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Luka Modric plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema.
Hello, wherever you're watching from the Spanish Basque region, this is the Estadio San Mames in Bilbao. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Barcelona taking on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And operating in attack today, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Carvajal starts with Ferland Mendy in the fullback positions. Luka Modric plays with Casemiro in the center of the pitch. And the main goal scoring threat provided today by Karim Benzema. that quite simply speaks for itself the two most successful teams in Spain with such passionate fans stay with us we'll bring you all the action live from the Bernabeu as Real Madrid face Barcelona a really exciting night ahead of us here at the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid I'm Derek Ray your match commentator and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis is Stuart Robson and the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football La Liga it's Real Madrid versus Barcelona well Derek as is always the case the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game and that for me is the area that's key today and the starting 11 for Real Madrid Thibaut Courtois is the curious and operating through the middle in attack today Karim Benzema this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Sergi Roberto plays with Jordi Alba in the fullback positions. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And leading the line today, Robert Lewandowski.